This 2009 Audi Q7 is in very impressive condition. It's done 191,000 kilometres. It's got the three litre turbo diesel engine. It's got navigation, reverse camera and Bluetooth. And it's a 2009 update, so it's actually got the much newer LED tail lights along with many other features. It's silver with black interior. It's just got the standard wheels, you know, which are quite small. And a lot of people say, yeah, they'd prefer to get one with the bigger wheels. And look, I don't disagree. I think that the bigger wheels look a lot better. But for me personally, I'd rather buy one like this with the standard wheels. It basically means that, you know, there hasn't been unnecessary strain and pressure put on all the suspension components. And uh, you can see that it, it hasn't been owned by someone who's gone and put 22 inch wheels on it or anything like that. It's completely standard and the condition is impeccable. It's obviously been garaged. See the headlights are nice and clear. The body wheels interior in excellent condition. I'd have to double check with the person who traded it, but I think they actually only had one, one child from what we could see and it actually looks like, doesn't look like it's had kids in and out of it since 2009. You can see here you've got the much newer looking tail lights. It's a three litre turbo diesel, they're all quattros. But it really is in every way a very impressive car. It does have an electric boot. What's also impressive is it's got the rear luggage cover, which is very rare because a lot of people take them out of the car, they put them in the garage and they forget to put them back. So it's nice to see that that's there. I'll just press this button and that it will close itself. You also see that the um, the seats actually slide forward, so if you want someone to get in the back, I'll actually do it for you. So that's the, the seat as normal. If someone's climbing the back, you don't have to scramble over the top of the seat. Just go like this. Roll it forward, and you can step into the back. So many SUVs don't get it right. There's the back seats, they just fold up. They fold up there. Obviously they're down because they probably didn't use the very back seats at all. But it's good because a lot of cars, including Mercedes, just haven't really got it right. They either just have this section come down here like that and you have to climb over the top and vice versa. It's got rear air conditioning controls. Black leather is the easiest interior to look after. Um, again, you know, a lot of people say, looking saying with big wheels and a sunroof, this car does not have a sunroof. Again, for me, I think it's a good thing because the sunroofs, when they get to this age, can be expensive to repair. They can leak, especially if you're a beach family um, or if the car's parked outside, you can get grit, leaves, etc. in the channels for the sunroof. They can block up. There's, there's actually a number of issues you can have. So for me personally, I'd rather get something like this without a sunroof, as nice as they are to have. But it's very impressive. Someone's really looked after it, which is nice, and to be perfectly honest, you don't find a lot of seven-seater family cars in good condition. To buy a set of alloy wheels and rim, uh, sorry, alloy wheels and tyres, you're probably looking at a couple of thousand dollars. You might even find a second-hand set online for a thousand dollars. I don't know, but uh, I like to see the cars like this. You know, as they were sold new. It hasn't got a bull bar or big wheels or anything like that. It's just completely standard. But it's in very impressive condition. It does not look like it's done 191,000 kilometres. This car had driven in and they'd said, look, this is a, a rare car. It's only done 48,000 kilometres. I'd say it certainly looks like it. It does have two keys. Bluetooth. It's got um, tip shift on the steering wheel. I think they're fantastic and such good value. And being a diesel, I really wouldn't worry too much about the kilometers. What I would like to say is, before you come and look at this car ideally, go and have a look at another one. Have a look at another five. 
And I think that would actually be a good thing because I don't think they're going to compare to this car in terms of condition. And it's unfortunate for us because we are very fussy and, you know, we have to turn away so many Q7s, GLs, Lexus LX 470s and 570s because the condition's just not up to scratch. But this car is absolutely beautiful and I'm sure anyone who comes to look at it will be just as impressed as we are with this beautiful car. Our location is, is pretty easy to get to actually. We're in Marrickville, 20 minutes from Sydney Airport. We're in a warehouse with about 70 to 80 cars, all undercover, rain, hail or shine. You can come and see us. And uh, this car is also registered until July this year, 2017. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please give us a call. You can speak to me. I'm Philip, and we're on 029569 9999.